Hi, this is Francis. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Um, just wanted to update you on some things. Um, I'm making a new little challenge to myself about making a better path for myself. Not taking a better path. I'm on the right path. I just have to remove some of the obstacles that are in the way of me having the life that I would like to have. So, that is my new challenge to myself. Um, now, the getting to bed early, getting going to bed early and getting up early challenge, I've got that in a place that I'm satisfied with. Um, I'm not going to bed early every day and I'm not, um, I'm allowing myself to sleep late, you know, some, but for the most part, I'm getting up early, getting some things done and getting more productive in my life. Now, um, you know, sad thing, my little kitty, uh, my 14 year old kitty, her, she passed away. So, and it's a blessing because he, he did have to take two insulin shots a day and he wasn't feeling good. That's not a life. And also it wasn't a life for me because I was giving him the insulin shots that I really didn't like to do because, you know, I don't like to get shots. I'm sure he didn't like to get shots. So... Um, that was a very sad note, but um, I'm moving forward and um, got my schedule going, trying to incorporate this week, removing some of my obstacles that have always been my obstacles in my life. It has always been an issue with a schedule, my eating schedule, um, getting things done in a certain time frame because I grew up in a pretty chaotic household. My parents were older when I was born and my mother had a lot of health issues. So um, we always kind of had a chaotic schedule. Now, I like the fact that I'm carefree and that I'm not real regimented. I love that, but I want to take care of things in a way that I can remove things that I need to remove that are standing in my way of my success. So um, I am looking for a full-time job at this point. I'm still working Uber Eats. I did do a grocery shop with Shipped yesterday. So um, I was excited about that. I got a lot done. Today I've gotten up, I'm getting ready to do some laundry, get dressed, and I've gotten some, some things already prepared to eat so I'm excited about that um, and I just really for my whole life I've relied on being smart and charismatic and having a good personality those things are great I, but I could have gone a lot further if I had had a little bit better foundation on some of the things like the scheduling, the organization, as well as, you know, my physical space being more orderly. So that's what I'm working on. You know, I appreciate anybody that shares my videos as well as subscribes or comments if you have any questions. I did have a request and I'm still thinking about what I want to say, um, you know, I mentioned the fat shaming stranger. Um, I did have a question about the fat shaming parent. Now, my parents were critical and, um, you know, they didn't have any uh, filters when it came to showing how they felt. They were lovely people. People love them in our community. They were great. But they did, you know, had a lot of other issues as well. As, same as me, you know. Um, I have a lot of great qualities. I'm on the right path. But there's some things that are just blaring obstacles. So I've reframed a lot of things from a perspective that based on the information my parents had when I was growing up, um, they did the best they could, especially that they were older um, and, you know, my mom had a lot of health issues. So I, I'm trying to remember some of the things, uh, some of the conversations that I had 
you know, I was real grateful that toward the end of my, my parents' life, both of them, that they were on the hospice program and it really turned around their attitude they got, really the attention and the um, nurturing and caring that they, they needed. It really it was a, a great help for my family. So um, I am working on that video and also will keep you updated as to what's going on. Thank you so much for joining and um, watching my video and please share if you like the content. Thank you again.